Hi guys, the San88 here again with another guide for insane trophies in Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. This is the first pirate level, it's called Booty Calls. It starts to get a bit trickier from now on. So as we go in we get these two boxes on the right. One right there and two in the centre. We've got to hop by these guys on barrels. And grab the TNT. can get these boxes in between the nitros and then over here be careful to not spin these because there's a bounce box that we need to get the one remaining box up at the top. We can just spin these enemies. And be careful not to get caught in the flame box and get left again. Now these octopus jack sparrow guys we can jump on their heads, we can't spin these. And then we get our first mask. At this checkpoint we should have 26 boxes out of 173. And now coming up to this real section, it's the trickiest one so far. So we stay up top, crouch down, stay up top, crouch down get these two and we jump to the right to get the big one through and immediately jump to the left to grab these two and spin them and then spin these two as well and drop down hold for two get up hold down and swing to the right for that second one jump jump down and swing right spin jump down hook left spin down up again down and hook left and then that's that tricky section I believe. Through here you want to bait this creature, crap, whatever he is. Grab the boxes, pull back and then spin him. Now this is our first section where it splits into two parts, like the old Crash Bandicoots. So I, I just go over this side first to the left to grab these boxes and then I come back and do the right path. Time you jump carefully to grab these flame boxes and not get caught in fire. And now we can head back. Careful with the jump onto this platform, it moves off quite quickly. And then wait for this platform. off the TNT boxes after grabbing these four boxes and then carry on the time he jumps to get across this you can ignore this crab and get the checkpoint and now we go straight into the bonus level. Going into the bonus level we'll have 103 out of 173 boxes. Uh, this is a fun bonus level actually. It's not too hard, it can be a bit tricky on your first go though. We grab the big one fruit box, jump up and grab that one. You leave that one because over to the right we have a nitro box which will explode them all so we can then come back and grab them. Leave that question mark box there to make it easier to get back over there yourself. Slam that one, hop all the way up to the left to grab this steel box and then we're done. Coming out of the bonus level, we'll have 125 out of 123. Coming up is our hidden gem. It's quite hard to spot. You can do this the safe way by going all the way around and then using the platform, but I find it easier to just jump off here 
but if you don't feel comfortable doing that then you can just go down to the bottom and then come back on yourself. It's a fairly tricky se section also, we need to go and get that exclamation box first and then travel back to get the boxes it makes appear. So I get as much fruit out of this as I can and then time I jump properly to get the exclamation box. So we jump back and what we can do is we can wait for this enemy and then we can just jump to the right diagonally and get onto it and smash these boxes and we can make the same jump back over to that platform as well once the enemy's not in our way. Jump on top of the octopus's head, spin the boxes. Now it's just a case of getting over to that checkpoint at the other end. At this checkpoint we'll have 141 boxes. Get the crab. Set off the TNTs and carry on. Coming up to the end of the level here. Uh, there's the nitro box and a load of boxes that we can smash to get open and once we grab these and that nitro box that should be all our gems and the incident trophy. Thanks guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow Sith Lord Bebop on Twitch. See you in the next one.